I'm David Bucci. I'm an associate professor of psychological and brain sciences. And my research is interested in um, uncovering the neurobiological mechanisms of learning and memory and attention. So my philosophy on mentoring graduate students is um, sort of a balance between um, nurturing them and helping them along, but also nurturing their independence and, and having them um, work, on, work by themselves. And so um, I have sort of three phases that I think all of my graduate students need to go through. Um, each one takes a different time course through them, but the first phase is sort of working uh, with me, carrying out projects that have been already conceived in the lab, um, and getting their hands wet just uh, with skills and techniques. And then a second phase, uh, the student is coming to me with some ideas, and together we work out a plan and um, carry out some experiments. And then the third phase, which they all have to get to at some point, is they're coming to me with ideas that um, are even outside my exact area of expertise, and I'm merely consulting with them, and um, they're taking the lead on the studies. Um, I also think it's important for them to struggle a little bit and not have everything handed to them and be easy. And so, um, you know, often I, I think having a little bit of a failure or difficulty and then troubleshooting how to get around that difficulty is very instructive. And so, again, it's a balance between trying to be supportive and nurturing, but not hand-holding too much to the point that someone becomes um, reliant on, on me all the time. So the graduate students in my lab, um, first of all, carry out most of the studies that go on in the laboratory. Um, and so in concert with the undergrads, um, who they often mentor one-on-one, um, -on -one, um, they are down there carrying out studies and, um, you know, I have the luxury of sort of overseeing everything and, um, you know, enjoying their successes. But the big joke in the lab is when I go down there, I actually mess things up. But uh, the students are, are the ones who are carrying out all the studies and the interactions with undergrads provide the grad students with a great opportunity to um, practice their mentoring skills and advising skills. And so they not only help the undergrads design and carry out their studies, but also analyze data, um, prepare poster presentations, and conference talks. I think, um, that in my view, the um, graduate student mentor relationship is, is kind of like a marriage. It's a very close one. It's an intimate one. And, um, you know, it's often hard to decide on a 20-minute interview date, if you will, that the match is right. And so when people are looking for um, potential mentors, graduate mentors, um, I think it's important to do a lot of research on that person, on their laboratory, um, talk to current students and alum from the lab and find out what that person is like to work with. And um, I think it's, it's a match, again, just like a, just like a marriage. It's a, it's, a, it's a match of personalities and traits. And so if someone is not um, very keen on the idea of, of working on their own, being independent, they might not want to work with an advisor who's almost entirely hands-off. And um, by the same token, if someone um, does not like being micromanaged, they might not want to be in a lab where the advisor is looking over their shoulder all the time. And so I think um, spending some time together through lab rotation, um, finding out through current students what that person is like to work with. Um, I think it's also important to um, work in a lab that is well-funded, um, so there's resources available, and um, perhaps have a couple of other people in the lab besides just um, the, the single graduate student to have some camaraderie and some peer relationships, um, again, with postdoctoral fellows or other graduate students. So um, in my view, Dartmouth, um, offers a couple of nice, really nice features in terms of graduate training. And so at some institutions, um, labs, all the labs are, are perhaps really huge and have many students, postdocs, grad and undergraduate students. And um, you know, there may not be a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with the principal investigator. Whereas at Dartmouth, um, I think in true with, with Dartmouth's philosophy of education in general, uh, we really pride ourselves on the close one-on-one -on -one interactions with our grad students. And so typically you do not find large laboratories with many, many students. You find ones that are smaller mid-size with a few graduate students. And so I think um, the students have an opportunity to work with world-class researchers doing cutting-edge work in cutting-edge facilities, modern facilities, but um, also see that mentor a lot and have a lot of close interactions with them. 